I've played with Ruben now for over a year, he's fantastic. He really is, he's, he's a sensational footballer, but even off the pitch, he's a great person as well. Does he ever score a normal goal? Because they're always outside the box. Yeah, I've never seen it, I've never seen it. He's been here, like I said, a little over a year now, and he does some magical stuff, he really does. I think, as a player, he's fantastic, and what he brings to a game, not just his goals, but he can dictate the tempo of a game, he really can, and to play with him, it's a real pleasure. <laughs> it's easy, Ryan Bennett, Ryan Bennett's a big moaner. Really? Big moaner. Anything, anything. It could be it could be the best day in the world, it could be sunny, everything, but he's still moaning about something. I'm telling you now, anything he moans about. Do you ever get on him and go, Ryan, have a day off, mate? Uh, like yeah. that. <laughs> you try, but it just never changes. Even in the middle of the game, like I've played next to him for quite a while now, and even when he's playing, and he'll come up to you and say, oh, we're not doing that, we're not doing that, and it's just moaning, just constantly moaning, and you know what he's about now. You really do, but he's, he's a great lad, and he's great to have around. Diva, uh, I'd go probably Morgan Gibbs White, young boy. Yeah, really? he's a young lad. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's done really well to be honest since he's come in. He's a great lad, but he can have a little bit of a strop, you know, like a, like a young teenager these days and all that. He's uh, he can have a bit of a strop in the middle of a game and, and different things. I'll say Morgan. Yeah. Is there anyone that's in the mirror before the game as you're heading out the tunnel that's like left behind? Is still doing the barnet? Or? Oh yeah, there's a good few. Yeah, I've got a good few of them. Yeah, a few boys who love themselves and different. Things. But you don't mind if they're doing the doing the business on the pitch. I'll be honest with you, but. Morgan's similar to that. Uh, Hella Costa likes to look after himself a little bit yeah. as well, yeah. So I'd, I'd say then. Is that the moisturiser? Yeah, and all that. Courtney <laughs> House is big for it as well. Courtney oh, really? House, yeah, Courtney House as well, yeah. So uh, yeah, them, them boys. I think it's Hella Costa. Yeah. I really do. He's, he's technically very gifted and he's a fantastic footballer and he's a pleasure to have here. And to watch him in full flow, it's a, re it's a real pleasure. If he's ever one on one against you, are you mindful that I've got to keep my legs shut? I here. panic. <laughs> not, not just that, not just that, but try and delay him as much as possible yeah. to someone come and give me a hand. <laughs> it's as simple as that. You've got to try and double up on these lads, otherwise they can uh, make a bit of a shot with you. We just signed a Dharma Traore. He's an absolute tank. If he was in the gym and you're on the circuits, I mean, yeah. if he's stacking it, do you have to just come in and just go? Oh, yeah, I tend to take my time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I take my time just so he doesn't see. And then I put it back to the bottom just to make sure he thinks I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> uh, Costa again, held us, uh, held us in charge. It's good to be fair. I'm not, I'm not really one for music, if I'm being honest. I leave that to, oh, really? to all the boys. Yeah, it's, uh, it gets the boys going in the change room. It's up to him what he does. What's he playing? A uh, little bit of a, a bit of all kinds to be honest. He sticks to a little bit of a old R and B stuff he likes, and okay. a little bit of the modern day Drake and, yeah. and all, like, you, you, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know all that, yeah. all that sort of stuff. I mean, yeah. I've heard about it. Yeah. Like, yeah, you definitely <laughs> know about it, don't you? Courtney House got a little bit of really? uh, rhythm to him. Yeah, got a little bit of rhythm. Got a few stiff lads as well, by the way. <laughs> I hope you're going to enjoy that one. Yeah, uh, Big John's a bit stiff. Big John Ruddy yeah. in goal. He's a he's a big lad. <laughs> <laughs> he struggles moving. He struggles. Yeah. He struggles moving. Something. What are your moves like? Are you a dad dancer? Yeah, oh, big time. Little yeah, toe -tap. side step, side step. Do you know what I mean? Side step, one to the other. It's dead easy. It's nothing, nothing too fancy, not too flush. Just dead easy. Yeah. Matt Doherty is good for it. Matt Doherty is yeah. uh, he's a funny lad. He's, he's a great lad to have around. He really is. But uh, he always tends to be doing little things, but not necessarily pranks. He's just a funny lad yeah. in general. Do you know what I mean? Quite dry with his sense of humour. So I'd say, Doc. Has anyone ever got you? In terms of pranks? Yeah. No, I tend to be quite quiet to be honest and <laughs> keep myself to myself to try and stop that happening. Apart from Jamie Carragher. Yeah. <laughs> Premier League launch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember it. Yeah. What, what do you feel with the fact that Wolves have made a bid for Pepe? For Pepe? After, yeah. <laughs> what a joke! Right, that's kind of crisis. And head down the goal. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing as a player. You love signings when they're not your position. As soon as your position, oh no, you start worrying that you're not excited than I am. No, no, you're no, not. No, no, no. Yeah. no but there's yeah. some fantastic yeah, players in there. there. <laughs> so I'd read that there were rumours that they were in for him, and it'd been great to, to have a player of his calibre. But when he said, obviously, I didn't know about it, and I'm usually quite up up to date on things like that. So when he said I was a little bit like, I'll be yeah. But he used to get me on his arms at the pool as yeah. well. He, he was the same with everybody, but he, it was great, yeah. Matt Doherty, Gaffer and him have got like this weird relationship where they do things and they have a little bit of a laugh together and different things. They're both into golf at the moment really? as well. So they have a good chat about golf and Doc always pulls him. He pulls him actually to have a really? chat about golf and all that, yeah. So I'd say Doc. 
very professional in terms of being at the training ground and things like that. Will Norris, the uh, the, yeah. the keeper, st stays for quite a bit as well. Uh, Ruben always hangs around as well. But we have a head tennis. I've seen it on the area. way in. Yes, yeah, so we have a head tennis area which all the boys tend to play. It's, it's great for a little bit of bonding and camaraderie and things like that. But we stay <laughs> quite a while playing that. To be honest, it gets quite competitive. Who are the ones to watch in that? Who are those players? The Portuguese? Yeah, Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese are good. I think they've played it growing up and everything. So Ruben's really good. Matinho's fantastic. Yeah, yeah really good. He, he does this header. He bats his head down and it flies like a shot. It's ridiculous. You've also got a quick cricket set in there as well, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, so you have like, it's mad. So you have the Portuguese who play yeah. the technical side and the English boys who play the cricket and just smash balls off windows and everything. Young Vinagre. He could fall, he could fall asleep on a washing line. No way of a lie. You literally get on the bus and you turn and look at him. So he sits at the back with, uh, with a few of the boys and you just look at him and he's catching flies. He's, he's got, got mouth open. Yeah, yeah. full back, yeah. Has he got his headphones in as well? Sometimes, yeah. But sometimes, but he's only quite a small lad and sometimes yeah. he's got two seats to himself. So he gets himself down. Like, yeah. snugging, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't understand why you would be listening to music yeah, when you're trying then, to get to and sleep. And then going to sleep, yeah, no, he, t he tends to just zone out. And like I say, you turn around, he's gone. Flat <laughs> out. Flat out. Easy one, Willy Bolly. Willy Bolly's big for it. And he's always getting fine. Just a little late here and there, like late for dinner. Like I said, we, we all eat together. We make sure yeah. we start at the same time. Well, he's quite tight, so he doesn't pay either, so you've got to try and get it out of him. Who's in charge of the fines? Collecting them, is that your job? Yeah, no, so Will Norris is in charge of it now. It was uh, Danny, but Danny's obviously gone a lot yeah. to Borough, so Will Norris has took over it, so uh, it's quite tough getting the money yeah. out of Bolly, to be honest. Just send a Dharma Chai in there. Well, that's it, yeah, but it's door. quite tough getting out of a Dharma yeah. as well, so <laughs> he's second, to be honest, so they tend to stick together, the boys, and like, we, don't, we don't pay, so. Connor, top man. Pleasure, mate. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you Cheers. very much. Cheers.